Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Fishing Lakes Apuries, our 14 by 12 and top bar hive apiary. Um, it's been a lovely day, uh, we've just carried out, I've just carried out an inspection on one of the 14 by 12s. Uh, you might have seen the video, is what it is. Unfortunately, it's a swarming colony and you know, we're, we're making a split and making the best of what we've got. So, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> Uh, top bar hive, just to update you, the weather's been terrible and I'm sorry that there haven't been more videos uh, on Patreon for you, uh, but I've just not been out uh, getting into the hives, uh, not as easily to be able to show you what's going on. Today has been a fabulous day, we've had lovely sunny weather, uh, it's clouded over now. I've been dodging one or two showers, uh, but I think we can get into the top bar hive and just have a look and see what's going on. So uh, to bring you up to speed, I think this is the third inspection that I will have made. Uh, the first inspection, maybe two weeks ago, there were swarm cells. I knocked those down. <clears throat> uh, I appear to have managed to knock all of them down. Last week, another inspection, more swarm cells. Uh, this time I made a bit of a mistake and twisted one of the top bars and the comb sheared off. Uh, fortunately it was mostly drone brood so I've taken that away as uh, varroa management, drone brood removal to reduce the number of varroa hopefully that are in the top bar hive. Uh, but again the swarm cells were there, I knocked those down and this week if there are swarm cells in there, I'm going to try to do something about it. Now, normally Steph would be here with me, but unfortunately uh, she's doing a proper job. So on my own, uh, and hopefully I'm in focus, we'll see. Uh, so what I will do is try to perform a kind of artificial swarm on this colony. Last week I put in several uh, new top bars to try, the, try to give them some more room. So that may have worked and they might not be trying to swarm, but you know what bees are like, uh, the chances are they are. And we'll just have to open them up and see what's going on. So I'll get the camera in a little bit closer. Uh, unfortunately, not as close as I would like, but you'll kind of get the gist of what's going on, hopefully. And uh, if there is anything uh, worthy of showing you and uh, taking up your time, I'll perhaps bring it closer to the camera and hold it up to show you. But if not, I'll talk you through the process of what I'm doing and fingers crossed that we get them all sorted and either make a split or just have a, a fairly standard inspection. So let's go over and take a look. Okay, we're all set, ready to go. A little bit of smoke. I've set the camera up at the far end of the top bar hive and hopefully that will be sufficient to allow me to show you what's going on has to turned a little bit cooler, but I think we'll be okay. We'll just lift off the, the roof. It is a bit of a cumbersome thing, this roof, but we'll do the best we can. It's got lots of ladybirds under the, the roof. So uh, we've got some spare top bars. I'll just move those out of the way. Sorry for the very poor videography, but uh, without Steph here, um, <laughs> you're stuck with me. So I'm just moving some of the bits and pieces. We've got a little spirit level on the top there. I'll just move some of these bars across. Uh, now, I've not done any kind of splits. I've not done any kind of um, manoeuvres like this uh, with our top bar hive. So the only thing that concerns me, there's some ants there, the only thing that concerns me is we do have a bit of a gap beneath the uh, the division board. So I'm hoping that we'll be okay for uh, being able to split them if we need to. Uh, so I'm going to start nearest the camera. Let me just adjust and hopefully you can see what's going on. How's that? There we are. 
So you can see this first frame, uh, that was um, one that had already been in there, but I've um, moved across. And what I did was I marked the wedges with 2021 so that I can see where the wedges are that I put in, or the top bar wedge, as I call them. So we've got one, two, three, four, so there are five in there. And we'll just give them a little smoke. Now, as I understand it, if, uh, if you want to take some honey from top bar hives, you can uh, take these end bars. I oh, managed to crush some bees there. But you can take the end bars because they're the ones that they um, use to store their honey in. So we'll see how we get on. I don't think we're going to take any honey off them today though. Um, uh, one of the things I did notice last time, if I turn this uh, end on, you can see perhaps how the, let's see if we can rest it down here, can you see how the comb has come off to the side on this one? So they haven't drawn it straight across the top bar, it's gone off at an angle and that I think is one of the issues that you can have with these top bar hives is that they are not always straight across the, the top bar. And if it goes horribly awry, then you can end up with them uh, stitching two of these top bars together and then it becomes an absolute nightmare trying to get into them. So we've got brood on this, um, this one and I'm hoping that we'll see some eggs. I'm just going to hold it up and turn it to the light and oh, that's got some uh, nectar in it so it'd be nice if we could see the queen but I think what I'll do is I'll just run through fairly quickly. I don't like pushing these top bars together because they have a tendency to squash the bees but <clears throat> if you get a bee trapped in there then um, you do crush them. So if I see an obvious queen cell, then we'll start thinking about shaking and splitting. But what would be nice is if I could spot the queen. And again, I can't remember uh, without going back and checking quite whether um, she's well marked. Oh, this is the one that I managed to um, break, snap off, and this has got queen cells on it. So um, what I'll do is I'll I'll just turn it over and the bees will hopefully drift down a little bit. There we go, there's, there's some queen cells. So uh, what I need to do now is to find some eggs because uh, if we don't have eggs then there's every chance that they will have swarmed. Uh, and they've been trying to swarm for several weeks now, as I said. So it is a bit precarious holding them. And when you're not used to handling one of these, so it looks like we've got, uh, there's a sealed queen cell just on the edge of this um, bar comb. I'm just having a look down the sides, see what I can see. Uh, so I've just squashed one. So that looks as if that's got a sealed queen cell. And they're quite calm. Haven't you had to use the smoker particularly on them? But at this moment in time, it would be great if we could see the, the queen just to be able to then move her and do a split. Uh, what I, one of the things that we have done that has been quite useful, uh, uh, pure chance, is writing wedge or putting a W down the side um, because it allows me to put these back in the right, uh, in the right way. A curtain of honeybees, uh, look at that, That's, isn't that remarkable? Curtain of honeybees, there's no comb yet. still no sign of the queen. I'm just going to 
whiz through to see if I can spot her anywhere. And of course eggs, and this is one of the problems when it's a cloudy day and you've got a desire to tilt the comb, if you tilt it too far then it ends up snapping off like it has on that other piece of comb. So that looks like they're storing nectar in that one. So I'm beginning to think that maybe uh, I've missed them. Well, there's still quite a lot of bees in here. And we've got a lot of brood still to emerge, so that still needs to come out. Come out, come out wherever you are. Uh, this is one of the new wedges that they haven't really done much on. Again, another curtain of bees starting to, to work on it, maybe. I had hoped that that might have persuaded them to uh, not bother with queen cells. Uh, but it is that time of year, folks. It's time of year when swarms are going to emanate from hives and I've no doubt that sorry about that uh, I've no doubt that this weekend uh, the internet will be awash with photos of swarms so there will come a point at which I'll find a find a top bar that has got Come on, girls, out you get. Uh, Katie will remind me that I've just said girls because I don't normally say girls, apparently. Um, anyway, anyway, uh, moving swiftly on, um, I would like to see some eggs, but if I find if I find that we've got a lot of emerged brood on one of the top bars. I haven't really had to use the smoker, but as it's a light, we might as well use it. Let's pop it down there. Um, yeah, if I find emerged brood, then it means that that top bar will be one that maybe the queen has laid eggs in, and I'll shake the bees off. And that's really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a big patch. So something similar to this, maybe. So we've got quite a lot of open cells here. So this one I could probably shake. Can't see any queen cells on it. And one there. So I'm going to shake this one off. So they're relatively secure to shake. And what I'm now trying to see, apart from the queen cells, which I'm going to nip out, I'm going to support it and just look in. Uh, so this has got eggs in it. So again, you know, we could potentially just nip out the queen cells. So I think I mentioned to somebody that I have what I loosely term a three strikes and uh, and they're out kind of rule and that basically means that if if they try to swarm or produce queen cells three weeks in a row then I have to do something about it because they're just going to continue to to swarm. It's now trying to rain again, which is not great. Still no sign of our queen. And how do you see the queen in a load of bees like that? Uh, with some difficulty, I would suggest. So now we're in a bit of a rush to get through try and see the queen. If I see the queen we'll we'll try splitting. We'll try and give them something to <laughs> something to think about. Um, but at the moment it's looking without an extra pair of eyes which is always useful. It's looking somewhat difficult. And then we've got a couple of curtains of bees here because I put two 
oh dear, I put two extra um, top bars in. I'm just going to shake them off this one and see if they've done They're not really doing anything along the, the top bar here. I was hoping that they would have started to draw this out by now, but it's a little bit dry and not very nice for them to work with. So I'm going to just stop the camera and just warm this up. I'm just going to use our lighter to uh, melt this wax and hopefully that will give the bees a bit more encouragement to draw these out a bit further. So I've uh, just used the um, gas torch just to melt the wax a little bit and it smells really fresh now so with any luck uh, the bees will jump on that and start producing. So what I've decided to do is to give them one more week uh, because it, I think it is going to rain. So we need to just shake off the bees, look for queen cells. Ease this all back together again. There's quite a few drones in here now as well. Lots of nectar there, obviously on a nectar flow. Uh, we've got eggs so we can happily take all of these queen cells out. Just having a look down each side. And then because I've marked them with this W down this side, I know that it's going back in the right way. This one doesn't have anything on it because it's one of the new wedges. So that can go in there. Yeah, so trying to spot the queen with so many bees is an issue. So I'm just looking down both sides because that's predominantly where they're putting the queen cells. So this is a new piece, this, this is a piece that snapped off. So um, struggling a bit with them trying to build that out. There's actually some eggs in here. Uh, I, this looks like drone brood, so maybe we can use that for varroa control or some such activity. And by that what I mean is we can remove it once it's sealed. So up again. If you shake the top bars or the frames, if you're, um, if you're looking in a hive, if you shake them gently, then very often you'll find that the queen is still clinging to uh, the comb. And that can work in your favour sometimes. So another wedge from last week. Let's see if that made any difference. So we've got queen cells here. It's, it's now starting to rain and getting wet. The bees are not going to be happy. Oh gosh, that's called a downpour, I think. So excuse me if I just hurry along and don't do too much talking. Quite a lot of drones in here. Uh, queen cell there, one on the bottom. Some of these are rudimentary queen cups, so there's no eggs in them, but by nipping them out, it means that the bees will have to start all over again, and that might give me an extra day or two in, uh, in inspecting uh, when it comes around to checking them again next week. So we'll have to have a think about how we're going to um, do a split with them. I'd quite like to do a split because that would be quite nice to show you. So we've just shaken this. So all of these queen cells, sometimes the larvae will become detached from uh, the royal jelly that's in there. But um, And if I squeeze these, you'll see that the royal jelly oozes out. 
but I'm actually going to just rip these off completely and with any luck oops uh, with any luck the bees will then rather than building more queen cells they might just take to producing some comb along that edge so pop that back in I think it's stopped raining we might be okay I have to say it's been you know, quite okay inspecting them even though the conditions are not great at the moment uh, another queen cup there peel that off this back in almost there so I think we're almost through to just uh, honey stores here so this might be a frame, a frame, a top bar that we could maybe take off uh, as we get through into the summer. Uh, that might be one that we can use, but we need to do it early. And I think with um, top bar hives, it's probably important to take them off in the spring and then leave them the summer to reproduce the comb and uh, and then be able to fill it up with stores before we get to the autumn because they don't have too long I just move that debris that I've taken off so we can clear that away uh, don't look at the dead bees folks so just move those off now the problem that I've got well not the problem but one of the challenges is we now have a lot of bees in here with this blasted division board thing. Uh, so I'm not really too sure how we, we tackle this because we need to get all of these bees back across uh, onto this comb. So maybe for today, we just put in these bars and then next week, because there are a lot of bees here, there, they're all fanning and uh, what we really need to do is to close them in and that might then get them to move across. It'll be interesting to see how that warmed top bar um, works. But there does appear to be a gap that they can get under so We've got quite a lot of bees here. And a spider that's running around trying to eat my bees. Sorry about that, my dear. Uh, okay, let's close it up. Hopefully there's a gap in the bottom there that they can use to get through. And I think maybe I need to have a some kind of escape system in the roof so if they get caught on here they can then go through a bee escape of some sort maybe there's some bees under there have we got i was just just checking to see if we'd got a queen and a swarm beneath but no we're okay let's pop this roof back on easier when you've got some help but that went on yeah, that's okay, that's on. And one last moment with you all. Okay, uh, top bar hive inspection complete. More queen cells. Next week, I think definitely we will have to do something about it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have a think about what it is that I can do. I think moving maybe a queen cell to one end and opening up a new entrance and hoping that we've kept the queen down this end if we can't find her might be a way forward uh, but we'll have to wait and see. 
Uh, for those of you in the Coaching Plus group, if you've got any questions, then please do send me a message. I'm sorry uh, to everybody else, but at the moment we are so busy that I'm not at this point in the season able to answer the questions. Uh, if you'd like to sign up to the Coaching Plus group and join us in the Zoom meetings and send me some questions if you have them, then that would be great. But if not, we'll catch up next time. Thanks for watching.